Good morning, this is Rich Nelson with Allendale. Today is September 30th, 2015, with a special update for today's two USDA reports that were released at 11 a.m. Central Time. Now, USDA, uh, first, of, first of all, has a, what's called a grain stocks report. This is a quarterly report on an actual physical count of what's left over, in this case, as of September 1. For corn and soybeans, this is important because this acts, uh, acts as an actual uh, number for old crop ending stocks. Previously, USD had been using their own estimates here. Now, as far as corn stocks, uh, USDA suggested 1.731 billion bushels of old crop corn was left over at the end of the old crop market year. So 1.732, that's actually, or 1.731, that's actually uh, only minimally different than USDA's previous estimate back from the last supply-demand report of 1.732. So completely neutral as far as the impact on the corn market. Now, for soybeans, actually, we're a little surprised here. Uh, the trade did see some uh, little surprises here as far as soybean stocks. 191 million bushels was left over as of the old crop marketing year. The trade expectation was 205. Uh, in addition to that here, uh, keep in mind USDA's most recent estimate here on those supply-demand reports was 210. So going from USDA's 210 million bushel estimate down to now 191, you can call this moderately bullish. Now, as far as uh, some other details with this report, they don't actually release demand numbers or how they got to this ending stock. This is simply a count there. However, for soybeans specifically, they do also release a revised production from the 2014 harvest. In this case, they dropped this by about 42 million bushels uh, down to 3.927 billion. Now, 42 million bushel change, that's actually the largest in our database for this specific report going back to 1986 when they had a 67 million bushel change. So a pretty aggressive change as far as this goes on the uh, on the soybean side for production. As far as the big picture for soybeans, though, this probably doesn't change a whole lot. All we're doing is we're minimizing the old crop ending stocks and therefore new crop beginning stocks. Now lined up for October, we have some significant concerns about supply and also the problems we still suggest remain with us for new crop demand. So we don't call this report really that, that bullish at all for soybeans with this looming new crop issue. Now, as far as wheat, uh, this report marks uh, usage after one quarter of use. For the wheat market here in the U.S., we start with, with June and go to the end of May. So this report is for usage basically from June, July, and August. As far as U.S. findings, USDA's findings here, 2.089 billion bushels was found to be on hand. Uh, that was quite a bit lower than the average trade estimate of 2.149. Now, as far as why they made this change, well, there's actually a second report involved here, and that's called the Small Grains Summary. And on that one, USDA goes back and they take a look at the revisions needed for production on wheat, barley, oats, and rye. Our focus, of course, here will be limited to wheat. USDA suggested the crop there, 2.052 billion bushels. That's actually quite a big revision from USDA's previous estimates of 2.136. Uh, surprising to see the drops came from not just other spring by about 22 million bushels, but also winter wheat was dropped by about 68 million bushels. So as far as to, uh, USDA's report overall, this is going to be classified as neutral for corn and a little bullish here for soybeans, a little bullish as well for wheat. If you have any questions about how to market, markets in general, or pricing, Feel free to give us a, uh, a call here at Allendale, 1-800-262-7538.